Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss sciatica. What is sciatica? Sciatica is a severe pain which runs along the whole length of your leg. It starts from the lower back and runs into the entire length of the leg. Sciatica is a usually irritation pain which is caused by irritation, inflammation, pinching or compression of sciatic nerve. So first of all, we are going to look at what is sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is a nerve which arises from the lower back of the body and runs through buttocks into leg, knee and lower leg of the body. It is the longest and the thickest nerve in our body which is approximately 2 cm wide. Sciatic nerve is basically a collection of different nerves and it is very important for the reflex action of our leg muscles. As you know that our body movements are coordinated with the help of central nervous system signals or nerve impulse coming from our brain and spinal cord coordinate different movements of our body. When this nerve is damaged, compressed or inflamed due to some certain conditions, then this pain which is known as sciatica can start. Its severity depends on the damage to the instant of the damage to the sciatic nerve. So first of all, we are going to discuss the symptoms of sciatica. So the main symptoms of sciatica are pain in the course of sciatic nerve. So as I mentioned earlier that sciatica is a pain due to the damage in the sciatic nerve. So when this sciatic nerve, which you can see in the diagram in blue color, this sciatic nerve when damaged by some agents by inflammation or by injuries then a severe pain starts which runs along the whole length of your leg along with the pain there is a tingling which is known as paresthesia in the leg and also numbness at the same time, muscle weakness can also occur in the lower back and in the muscles of the leg. In the severe cases of sciatica, urinary incontinence, it means that a person cannot hold or control the movement of urine or stool. So it means that urine and stool can pass without the voluntary activity of the body. So involuntary removal of the urine or the or stool from the body is known as urinary incontinence which is usually caused by sciatica pain. Now we are going to look at the causes of sciatica. The main cause of sciatica is herniated disc. Our vertebral column is composed of vertebrae. Every two vertebrae has intervertebral disc which is made up of cartilage. This disc provides compressibility to the vertebral column. But sometimes due to heavy lifting of weight or due to the bending of the body and due to the degeneration of the bone, this disc can slip out from the vertebral columns. And then this slipped disc can compress the sciatic nerve and which can cause severe pain which is known as sciatica. Osteoarthritis which is a disease of bones and joints can also cause sciatica pain. Degenerative disc disease in this conditions our bones of vertebral column or the disc degenerate with the passage of time which can lead to the compression of the sciatic nerve which can lead to sciatica pain. Spinal stenosis and uh, 
spondy spondylolisthesis in this conditions usually our spines cannot move or compress with each other or one of the vertebra of the vertebral column can slip out from its original position leading to the compression of the sciatic nerve which can lead to sciatica pain some injuries can also cause damage to sciatic nerve which can lead to sciatic pain sometimes improperly administration of injection in buttocks or hips of a person can also cause damage to sciatic nerve by the needle of syringe which can also lead to sciatic pain so anyhow we are going to discuss these causes with help of a diagram so first of all if you look at this diagram it has been taken from the vertebral column so this is a bone of vertebral column which is known as vertebra in the center of vertebra in the foramen there is a spinal cord and from spinal cord are exiting sciatic nerves which runs through the leg when the bone of the vertebral column which is known as vertebra sometimes bulge out and starts compressing on the sciatic nerve then this compression can leads to sciatica in another diagram if you look at the bones of the vertebral column so this is a bone of vertebral column this is also bone in between these two bone there is intervertebral disc sometime this disc slip out which is known as disc slip or it is also known as herniated disc when this disc slip out then this cause compression on this sciatic nerve which can cause severe pain in the sciatic nerve and leads to the sciatica there is no permanent cure or for this disease but we can have some methods with the help of which we can control this pain so what are the treatment option number 1 self treatment during self treatment you can stretch your muscles legs back you can also use ice patch and you can also use warm patch to ease the pain of sciatic nerve but this usually does not help then sometime we have to use pain killers like ns aids over the counter these medications are uh, used to help to reduce the severity of the pain of sciatica sometime we have to use muscle relaxers and uh, in severe cases anti seizure medications can also be used with the prescription from a certified doctor usually these medications provide temporary relief and then we have to go through physical therapy physical therapist is a doctor which gives you some exercises with help of which you can ease the pressure on the sciatic nerve and your pain gets better with the passage of time but it takes a lot of sessions and lot of time if these therapies do not work then we have to undergo some severe uh, some medical test like mri or ct scan to further study that where the exact uh, sciatic nerve is going to be damaged or compressed by the bones or what is the major cause of uh, the pain of the sciatica then sometime we have to use spinal injection in the form of corticosteroids which helps to reduce the inflammation which is caused by bones or muscles or membrane of the spinal cord and if this does not work then we have to go to surgery during the surgery the herniated disc or bulging out of the bone of the vertebra are removed so that the pressure which are Uh, these bone exerting on the sciatic nerve can be reduced and uh, which can re uh, relieve the sciatica pain in the surgery option we have to use discectomy during this condition the part of the bone which is pressing on the sciatic nerve is cut and removed from the body 
and uh, during laminectomy the membrane which is in has inflammation and due, this inflammation in the membrane of the spinal cord which is causing sciatica pain this uh, during this surgery those uh, inflamed membranes are removed from the body which helps to reduce or ease the pain of the sciatica that's all for today and hopefully see you in the next lecture until then bye